second. Hi guys, welcome back to 28th part of the Arduino tutorials. In this video, we'll be working on the 7 segment display, which is a very useful device to display the numbers from 0 to 9 and also few characters. Each display can give a count from 0 to 9. So when it comes to application to display multiple digits, you have to go with more number of displays. But today, as a part of working, we'll be using a single 7 segment display. Before we start with the code, we have to understand some basic working of it. If you consider this, it's nothing but 7 LEDs arranged in this form. So we have to understand how the normal LED works. In our Arduino tutorial playlist, we have also made a separate tutorial on LED blink along with the basics. If you are a complete beginner, I recommend you to go with that tutorial. Coming back, if you consider a LED, the negative or the cathode terminal is connected to Arduino ground. The anode or the positive terminal is controlled through any Arduino digital pin using logic 1 or logic 0. So in case of 7 segment display, there will be 7 such LEDs in which all cathodes will be sorted together to make one common ground and the remaining 7 anode terminals will be left out which will be connected to 7 different Arduino digital pins. So this type of 7 segment display is called common cathode type. There is also a second type available in the market which is common anode type where all the anodes will be shorted together and connected to Arduino 5 volt and the left out cathodes will be connected to the digital pin. But for our tutorial, we'll be considering the common cathode type. In order to program this seven different digital pins, we have to follow some order which is standard across the electronics. So this seven LEDs are named as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. First, we'll start with the number. Based on the required number or the character, we have to just select either 0 or 1 for all these 7 LEDs. Just for example, if we want to get 0, we need G to switch off and rest of the LEDs to switch on. So all this will be 1 and G will be 0. Similarly, to get 1, we need B and C to be switch on. So B, C will be 1, 1 and rest of the LEDs will be switched off. So all will be 0. So this is how we derive the required numbers or the characters using this 7 values or the 7 LEDs. Before we start with the programming, we'll see what are the components we need. Arduino board. 7 segment display, 1 330 ohms resistor and some jumper wires. Connection is very simple. So if you consider this display, there will be two common terminals. You can use any of them. Instead of connecting directly to ground, just add a resistor. So I'll be using the breadboard and rest of the pins we have to connect to digital pin. So I'll start from pin 2. So A will go to digital pin 2. So this is the format we have to follow. In a continuous order, I'm just connecting 3, 4, 5 and so on. There's also one more pin left out which is DP or the decimal point. I'll be not using this pin for now. Coming to the coding part, First, I'll show how you can write the basic code completely based on the concept we discussed now. And at the end of this video, I'll be also showing how you can use a library 
which will be way simpler when it comes to application. Since we are using seven digital pins, we'll declare them using int data type. So I'll be giving the same names as per the display. So here is connected to digital pin two. Similarly, all of them in a continuous order. Inside setup, we have to make all of them as output using pin mode. Since LED is an output device, seven times. Finally, in the loop section, just we have to make each pins high or low based on the required character. So as we discuss in order to get zero, we need to switch off G and rest other pins should be high. So we have to simply use digital write. A will be low. So again, I'll copy paste the same line seven times. So we can give some delay, very small delay, 20 ms. So we'll change all this. So here, except G, all should be high to get zero. So I'm making high. And G will be low. So this is a simple code just to display zero on the seven segment so we'll upload this and see so as we can see here it is showing zero we'll try to print any other character so we can try with this three for this f and e should be switched off so rest of them will be high so here, this will be low and also E will be low and this will be high. Again, we'll see the result. So we are getting three. In the same way, you can try with any other numbers or characters. So using the same basic logic, I have added the numbers from zero to four. So which will loop one by one in a sequential order. So this is for zero and after some delay, the digital write functions for one, two, three and four. So you might have seen the number counters counting from zero to nine but I have written for four. So we'll upload this and see how it works. So it starts with zero and the last is four and again the cycle repeats. So you can imagine if you want to count from zero to nine, how many lines it will take. So this is very difficult when it comes to application so we'll move on to the library and see how we can reduce the lines. The first thing we have to do is to download and install the library. The steps I have also shown in one of my Arduino tutorial. You can also check out that. I'll also leave a link for that video. So I'll be running through the steps. Once you are done with the library installation, you can be able to see the example codes here, which is under seven seg, which you can check later. First, we have to include the library, which I'll be doing with ash include. And here 
it is 7 seg dot h inside the library they have already created a class with a name seg so we have to create a object of this class the object name i'm just giving it as s and moving on to void setup to initialize all the parameters with their initial value there is a function called begin which takes five parameters so i'll show you here so these are the five parameters which we have to pass the first parameter will give whether the display is common cathode or common anode type next is the number of digits so in a multi digit display there will be more than one digit in our case we are using one display so it will be one and next we have an array to pass as a parameter if you consider this multi digit display there will be the control pins to activate or deactivate the particular segment or a digit so these are called common pins so we have to create an array of these pins if you are using a multi digit display in case of single digit it will be an empty array so next is also an array which indicates the seven segment pins in our case it starts from 2 3 and so on which we have connected already and the last parameter indicates whether we have used a resistor with our segment since we have connected a current limiting resistor this value will be 1 so these are the parameters which we have to use with begin function so in order to access the begin function i'm using dot operator i'm using common cathode type next is number of digits it's 1 next we have an array for common pins which is empty in our case i'll pass this array further we have the segment pins we are using pin 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and last is the resistor since we are having a resistor i'm giving it as 1 so that's it for initialization next we'll directly move on to loop inside the loop section we have to make use of two functions the first is set number so this function is used to select the number which you want to print on the display here for example i'll be taking it as 3 So next function is refresh display. So this is the syntax, and it doesn't take any parameter. So this function turns on the segment according to the set number or character, wait for some time, and then turns off all the LEDs. So that's why it should be called every cycle, and after this, some delay. I'll give it as hundred. That's it, the code. So, comparatively, it's very simple. We'll upload this and see. Similarly, we can try with any other number. I'll give it nine. Now we'll try to make. a display counter from 0 to 9 we have to just add a incrementing for loop which starts with 0 and counts till 9 it's simple and we are done but here instead of number we have to pass the parameter as i will upload this and see so 
so now it's counting from 0 to 9 if you want the count to be in the decreasing order you can just modify this for loop in a decreasing way so that's it for this tutorial the link for the code and circuit diagram is available in the description box for any doubts you can just leave a comment in my coming tutorial we'll be also interfacing push buttons to increase or decrease the counts on this display stay tuned for more tutorials thank you for watching and i'll be back in next tutorial